All that breaking news we're on top of right now. Hazmat crews are battling a chemical fire in Pennsylvania County. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm John Carlin. And I'm Lindsay Ward. It started in the tight squeeze industrial park this afternoon. People in the area were told to shelter in place as crews began their initial attack. Yeah, 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer is live at Chatham High School tonight. Shane, this is uh, you're just a few minutes away from the scene and I understand crews have made good progress. Yeah, John and Lindsay, we just got an update. They said about 90 to 100 percent contained. They're just working now to deal with the actual fire itself. And that's why at this point, uh, shortly after the uh, shelter in place order went in place, they then lifted that and told people that it was OK to come back outside. Now, this is the only picture that we've been able to get from the scene because they've been keeping us back. The fire happened at the Sardimer plant here in the Chatham area. We know that they make plastics and polymers. The specific chemical that they're dealing with right now is still unclear. We know that the fire is contained inside a storage building, but the initial smoke plume was major, and that is why the initial order went out. Our volunteers are from our different fire departments, public safety, our police department, sheriff departments, they all responded very quickly. Uh, we're able to, to get the fire down, and yeah, those those precautions, we, you know, we're, we're glad we took them. We're glad we got the students out of the school and told people to stay at home, but ultimately, yeah, we were able to get the situation under control. Now back out with us live here. We do know that there are no injuries this afternoon and that the company followed all of their safety procedures. Crews continuing to work the fire. The one thing they did tell us this is different than a normal house fire because we're dealing with chemicals and those behave differently and react differently around each other. So they expect to be here for at least two to three more hours to keep an eye on this situation. We'll be here and hope to get you more specifics to bring it at six. Live in Pennsylvania County, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.